Welcome to this update training video for the spreadsheet application. This is the second video uh, between the two. So if you are watching this one first, please stop and go watch the other video to see how to get the application installed, build your own sp spreadsheet and uh, basic operation. Then you can come back and watch this one. Uh, this one just covers the new features that I've added to spreadsheet in the latest version. And so you can see the uh, interface here. And uh, just to kind of go through some of the, the big changes, first of all, uh, you'll notice there's now a send data and a send and advance uh, data button uh, that are at the top. So the send data will just send the current line that is selected. The send and advance will send that line and then automatically advance down to the next line. So if you're processing through a list of information, uh, that can make uh, that a little easier. Uh, there's also keyboard shortcuts for these F9 and F10 uh, to um, uh, use those buttons. Also, the arrow keys and the keyboard are now selected or now uh, available, so you can move up and down using the uh, the arrow keys. Also, once you've sent a line of data, you'll see the color will change. And in fact, uh, you, the blue line represents what you're currently selecting. The red line is the uh, the line that has been sent into the TriCaster. If they happen to be one and the same, it will turn purple to kind of represent that uh, you're selecting the same thing you've sent. Uh, but that's just a, another way so that you can either click or see kind of how you're navigating around. Um, there's also some new functionality in here as well. So if you go into the uh, green button over here, uh, you'll see that there's some new options available. So one is called Auto Advance. And if you go in here, you can see that all of the media players of your system and buffers of your system are available, uh, along with the black video channel as well, in here. And what will happen is if you select one of these, whenever that channel goes from program to preview so it has to be that order it's it was on program it is now going back to preview or i guess just really coming off of program um really more than anything then it will automatically issue a send and advanced option so this way you can actually have uh, a workflow perhaps where uh, maybe you're going through a list of information you're going to put up a title slate at the beginning of each uh, let's say routine and once you bring that title slate down the uh it will automatically set up for the next one uh, in there. So some people might be able to take advantage of that. And if you happen to be wor working in workflows where you have multiple TriCaster systems uh, that are being used, maybe for additional recording, or even uh, you know maybe multiple languages are going on, and you want to have uh, the same information sent to multiple TriCaster systems, you can type in the IP address of those TriCaster systems in here. Uh, if you put a semicolon, you can actually send it to more than one. Um, do realize the auto advance was only going to follow the main TriCaster unit. It's uh, the send data link to additional systems is only sending the data. It does not uh, follow uh, their uh, auto advance or anything uh, options on there. So that's kind of the, the big new enhancements in this version. One last thing I want to show is uh, how you can also set up image updates. I've had a few people asking on how that works. So you'll notice that in the sample spreadsheet, I do have now an image column that I created. And in here is a path to, in this case, a PNG image. It can be any major video format, or I should say still image format, that the TriCaster supports. So a JPEG could work or a uh, ping or something. Um, this path needs to be how the TriCaster would see that path, not how the spreadsheet application running on a computer would see it. So in my case, on my TriCaster, on the D drive, I have a folder called Headshots, and in there I've got a bunch of different ping images. And so that's how the TriCaster could find those files, and that's how I've entered them in here. Now, to make these work, I'm going to go into my TriCaster here, and you can see in the interface I've got a title already up on the screen, but the uh, the graphic is not uh, been updated correctly. So I'm let's fix that. Uh, we'll go and edit that title, and all you need to do is where the graphic, a graphic that's been marked as replaceable. If you right click on it and choose Properties in this Image Source field, you can enter your data link key in here. So we'll put a sheet. Uh, image should be in the list in here somewhere there it is at the bottom select that and hit ok and you can see it's already updated uh, to that uh, that new image in there and just to show this uh, running um, you know with some updates in here let me do a little side by side view there we go I'll select one of the lines send that data in and you can see not only does it update the player name it's also updating the um, 
the image as well. So that's how you can make those kind of workflows work. So I hope you uh, enjoy the enhancements I've added to uh, Spreadsheet, and thank you.